today is wednesday and i hope everybody who is watching this is having an awesome wednesday me i'm doing good cannot complain so let us get straight into today's video now i do have some red hot news for you today the topics that we'll be discussing are on screen right now and the timestamps are in the description below with that said hello and welcome to raid live our first topic twani mayor stevens mukhalapa placed on special leave so this is basically a follow-up to the story i did about the mayor stevens mukhalapa and that leaked audio tape of his now in a statement yesterday the democratic alliance the da confirmed that the twani mayor stevens mukhalapa has been placed on special leave pending the conclusion of investigations into his conduct in wake of the alleged sex scandal and also the scandal of the mayor allegedly discussing firing other government employees now do note that the eff has also tabled a motion of no confidence in the twani mayor and late yesterday stevens mukhalapa actually addressed the media and this is what he said in his statement i have decided to take special leave starting on thursday the 28th of november 2019 having said that i will continue to avail myself of party processes that are currently underway and i assure residents that i am committed to cooperating with this process throughout no further communications will be made in this regard until investigations are concluded so obviously going off what he says he said that he decided to take a special leave but we all know that the taking of the special leave actually came from higher up now apart from that stevens mkhalapa has also opened a case now i want to explain to you guys exactly what cases he has opened but you know what i think i'm gonna play the video where he explains it himself because he does such a phenomenal job the charges that we have laid it's that of illegal um you know tape uh, because of it's an illegal unauthorized tape which is against the laws of south africa secondly it's about uh, defamation because of it's got defamation implication on it thirdly it's about distortion because of it is distorting the truth and fourthly it's also about extortion because of it there are extortion um allegations that i have and also lastly it's about blackmail so as you have heard from the mayor i think he's still the mayor he has opened a case because he has cases and as of right now he is on special leave because he is special and he is now on leave but do comment down below and let me know what you guys think about twane mayor stevens mukhalapa being placed on special leave our next topic, SABC 2's Guiani Land of Blood comes to an end. So South Africa's first Chitsonga drama, Guiani Land of Blood, has come to an end yesterday, Tuesday evening. Now the finale was action-packed and it left a lot of fans on the edge of their seats and wanting more. However, unfortunately for the fans of the drama series, it has come to an end. Now on social media, on the show's official Twitter page, they posted a picture written thank you and captioned it as follows, South Africa, we are signed out so as you can see by that post they are thanking all their fans for their support and they have bid us farewell now they do not say when they'll be coming back now apart from that musician and actress Yvonne Chaka Chaka who played one of the leading characters in the drama series also thanked fans and producers for her time on the show she took to social media and posted the following such a pleasure to have been part of at Guiana SABC2 thank you at Chidza pictures at Marang dream and SA now the SABC actually announced last week that the show would be coming to an end this week and it would be replaced by another telenova litapo in january now of course this news was met with a lot of anger from fans who are in love with gianni land of blood and they started a petition to keep the show on television of course you know how we do here in south africa we just recently got into this petition phase and we are petitioning everything now according to the rumors and the reports that are circulating underground you know from snitches and the likes the sabc are actually concerned considering renewing the show for a second season and there's even some reports that go as far as saying that the SAPC has even asked the show's producers to shoot a second season but like I said nothing has been officially confirmed or stated as of yet but in the meantime on social media fans are definitely crying for Gianni Land of Blood to come back for a second season so do comment down below and let me know what you guys thought about the SAPC 2's Gianni Land of Blood and do you guys think that it should come back for a second season our next topic war over maps Maponya 
and his Buns Out bad review. Look, if you've been on social media, you will know that Meps Maponyane's burger joint Buns Out has been getting a lot of great reviews from celebrities like Boy Titulo, Cabelo Mabelane, Maschabandrovu, Zex Bantwini. All of them seem to have went there and all of them seem to have had a great time and enjoyed the burgers. Heck, even some of the ordinary South Africans who have gone there who are not celebrities, they've had some raving reviews about the burgers that they sell. However, it does seem that not everyone thinks that the burgers are so on fire. Now, oh hell broke loose when one user on Twitter actually had a bad review about Buns Out. So a user on Twitter wrote the following, y'all really hyped Buns Out. I didn't enjoy the food, the burger we had had a dry patty, too much stuff, ingredients going on and you couldn't taste the flavors, yeah ha, I didn't enjoy. Look judging by the way that users on social media went in on her, it does seem like this was the first ever negative review of Buns Out. Well apart from that negative story that came out that Maps Maponyane is is not a hundred percent owning bands out at the end of the day you know there are very few businesses that are owned by one people you need partners man you need to be working with people but anyways it does seem that maps maponyane did see this particular tweet and responded to it and this is what maps wrote hey fifi i'm sorry that you didn't have a great experience we try hold a high standard and i apologize that we clearly weren't able to maintain it with your meal highly appreciate the honest feedback and hope we'll get a second chance to impress P.S. Nice meeting you today. Look, first of all, definitely a great response by Maps Maponyane for him taking ownership like that and saying that, you know what, come back another time and hopefully we get a second chance to impress. That's impressive. Now, also Maps writes, P.S. Nice meeting you today. So it does seem that Fifi and Maps actually met and probably had a conversation together, I'm assuming. And a lot of users on Twitter actually came in on her because of that and asked her, why didn't she just tell Maps right there in his face that, you know what, your burgers are not doing it for me instead of coming here on social media and crying about it on social media look at the end of the day i'll even go as far as saying that me personally if i met maps maponyane and had his burger and i was underwhelmed by the burger i wouldn't tell it to his face i honestly wouldn't man i mean i also wouldn't come back on social media and cry about it but i know for a fact that i wouldn't tell him straight to his face i don't like a scene i'm not the type of guy who likes to cause a scene and calls the manager i want to speak to the manager i leave that type of nonsense to miss red life to embarrass me in public but one thing i will say it does seem that the people on social media are actually more hurt than the owner of buns out maps maponyane is and he has come out and said that you know what he's sorry about her having a bad experience so it does seem that maps maponyane is taking the feedback in his stride and he's probably going to be working on trying to improve the experience and at the end of the day that is the whole point of customer feedback but yeah you guys know how social media is but anyways do comment down below and let me know what you guys thought about that bad review of buns out and also if you have been to buns out do comment down below and let me know how was your experience at buns out me personally i haven't been there so i can't really comment about it maybe if they open a joint in the east Rand, perhaps i'll go or maybe when i get time and uh, decide you know what i want to sit in some traffic i'll take a drive to Joburg and go experience that bun our next topic eff leader julius malema has been charged for discharging a firearm at an eff rally so eff leader julius malema as well as a security official Adrian Sneyman have been charged with discharging a firearm in public during the party's fifth anniversary celebration last year in Eastern Cape. Now Julius Malema did appear in court in East London today Wednesday and the National Prosecuting Authority the NPA said in a statement that Julius Malema faced five counts of charges against him. I'm going to count those charges for you. The first charge is unlawful possession of a firearm. The second charge is unlawful possession of ammunition. The third charge charges discharging a firearm in a built-up area or public place number four reckless endangerment to people number five reckless endangerment to property now like i said the security official adrian snayman has also been charged and the charges that he is facing is failing to take responsible precautions to avoid danger to person or property and also providing a firearm or ammunition to any person not allowed to possess it now the matter has been postponed to february the 24th of 2020 20 for the state to provide the defense with docket contents as well as video footage if they wanted the video footage i mean i have the video footage
they could have asked Red Live and I would have provided it to them. So do comment down below and let me know what you guys think about Julius Malema being charged for discharging a firearm at an EFF rally. Our next topic, Sia Colisi reportedly signs with Jay-Z's company. So Rugby World Cup winner as well as the captain of the Springboks, Sia Colisi has reportedly signed a deal with Jay-Z's Rock Nation Sports Management. Now this news comes from veteran sports broadcaster Robert Marawa who tweeted that Sia Colisi was in London as we speak sealing the deal. Now US rapper and businessman Jay-Z started Rock Nation and in 2013 branched out into sports management with Rock Nation Sports. And the aim of Rock Nation Sports is to elevate athletes career on and off the field including endorsement deals, philanthropic endeavors, media relations as well as brand strategies. So it does seem that the captain of the Springboks Sia Colisi is in some good hands. So definitely a huge congratulations to Sia Colisi. Our next topic Joop Joop is back on Mocha Love show Keep Ama Files. So Joop Lama Sweetie Ama Ningi has announced that he will be back on our television screens with a brand new show on Mocha Love's Kipama Files special. To be honest with you, I've actually seen some teaser trailers of this particular show. I thought that, you know, people would be calling in or you'd just come in and just present a story. And if you have some juicy stories, then you know what? They would run that story. That's what they said on the earlier trailers of the show. It seemed like, you know what? Anybody could come in and give them a story and give them some juicy files and they would dish the juicy files. However, it does seem that the show has taken on a new direction and Joop Joop has actually released the trailer of the show. Now, before I talk about the trailer, this is what he captioned that video. An exclusive taste for all our fans brought to you by at Mocha Love TV, produced by at official underscore Joop Joop. Stay tuned and keep it on channel 157. Save the date, Sunday 8th December, 2100 hours, South Africa's ride or die. Hashtag Joop Joop, hashtag Joop Lama Joop, hashtag, you know what, that's a bunch of hashtags that I don't feel like saying, you know. Now the trailer of Skipama File Special focuses on the award winning artist Babes Otumo and her Kwaito star boyfriend Mampinja. Now it does seem that Joop Joop and his camera crew have been given an exclusive look at their controversial relationship. And to be honest with you, I personally cannot wait. I know obviously they're not going to bear it all on television, but at least we're going to get a glimpse of behind the scenes and from another perspective other than from there so it's going to be shot from i'm assuming joop joop's perspective following them in their relationship but even having said that it does seem that they do get into some altercations they are not on their best behavior even though they are on television heck at some point we see mom Pincha breaking into tears and crying so for all of you who have been wondering how mom Pincha lost all of that weight he's been crying the kilograms off but yes it does seem that next week sunday on the 8th of december we are going to get the first episode of skipama files special so do comment down below and let me know what you guys think about Joop Joop being back on Mocha Love Show's Keep Ama Files special and just like that we have come to the end of today's red hot news if you enjoyed the video you know what to do by now give it a huge thumbs up share it with your family your friends and your enemies confuse the hell out of everybody and as always thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe to Red Live if you haven't and binge watch my previous videos